Hey guys, happy Sunday. Welcome back to the vlog. I'm just starting my morning with 100 side planks. This is a blog of Lottie's video. I'll link down below. And the sunscreen that I'm wearing is by La Roche-Posay. It's their Melton Sunscreen Milk that I've always loved, but it's the SPF 100. It's a chemical sunscreen. It does not burn around the eyes for me whatsoever. And it doesn't leave a cast because it is a chemical sunscreen, although it is shiny because it is water resistant. You may be wondering, is SPF 100 even worth it? Is there such a thing? Um, turns out SPF 100 in real world life ends up protecting you better from a burn than SPF 50, simply because of the way people apply sunscreen. They tend to do so with a light hand. Um, so yeah, loving this coffee and I'm gonna head to Aldi. So hope you guys enjoy the vlog. Well, hey guys, I am on my way to Aldi. I, um, Aldi, <laughs> is it Aldi or Aldi? Al? Uh, I know it's a European store, so maybe the Europeans who watch me could chime in on if you say all or al. <laughs> uh, yeah, I am influenced by influencers on YouTube to go to Aldi because their hauls, they always look good. But I will not go to Trader Jose's. Well, there's one that's actually pretty good, but I feel like I get duped into going there by YouTubers and I'm always let down because like I always see their like seasonal hauls of all the cool stuff that they got. I'm like, oh, I need to go to Trader Joe's. And then I go and they're out of like all the stuff that I thought I had to have or when I actually look at it in person, I'm like not that enticed by it. <laughs> I don't know, I strike out at Trader Joe's. So I cut myself off from going there. I haven't been there in a long time. Uh, and the, the one that's close to me is horrible. It is a miserable experience, um, but there's another one in, that's kind of far away that's actually pretty good. So yeah, I don't go to Trader Joe's, but this Aldi, Aldi, uh, is is fairly close to me, and I was happy with my experience there last time you and I went because I took you guys along with me. And uh, yeah, if you're not familiar with Aldi, it's a European brand grocery store. They have them all throughout the U.S. and they're really, really affordable. But two things you need to know before you go there. One, you need a quarter to get a shopping cart. And the way it works is you put the quarter into this little slot, it gives you a grocery cart. And then when you're done shopping, you return the cart and in exchange for returning your cart to the corral, you get your quarter back. This is a brilliant idea. Uh, it, because it's brilliant because when you park in the Aldi parking lot, there aren't like random carts that people abandon in the middle of parking spaces. My pet peeve is abandon grocery carts in the middle of parking spaces. Like, oh, I can't stand it. Anyways, so that's one thing you need to know. And the other thing you need to know is that they do not bag your items. You have to bring your own reusable bags and bag them yourself. And I think it's that way all over Europe. Correct me if I'm wrong in your uh, grocery stores. Like people, there's not somebody that bags your groceries. If I recall correctly, that is the truth. But here we have somebody who bags your groceries, unless you're like me and you do the self checkout. And I highly encourage you to do the self checkout because it is always, always faster than going through the regular line. I say that, but there was one time where it was much faster. And sometimes I go through the regular line because at my Kroger, I really like this one bag person. Um, this one grocery bagger, I really like, and he's very friendly, chatty, and we always talk about coleslaw because I'm always buying coleslaw mix <laughs> when I go in there, and he always comments on it, and he always talks about how the coleslaw at Luby's is, I think is, is really good. He likes, and he talks about how he gets the coleslaw there. Um, and that's the only thing that he likes there. We have this, we've had this conversation a few times, but now he remembers me, so he doesn't tell me about the coleslaw anymore, but yeah. Anyways, uh, that was the second thing that you needed to know about Aldi is that you need to bring a quarter and your own grocery bags. Um, and, they have good deals there. Um, so that's why I'm headed back. I'm headed back because I was happy with the prices. I was happy with the selection last time. And they had these cauliflower tortillas marketed for people who are on a keto diet or whatever. But y'all know me. I love cauliflower, cauliflower, cauliflower any, any way I can get it. I am like, I, I can eat just cauliflower. <laughs> 
flour <laughs> and be happy. Yeah, so I bought these cauliflower tortillas because they happened to be vegan, even though they were marketed for keto people, and they were on point, on fire. They were good. Um, and they didn't, they had a little bit of a cauliflower taste to them, but they were almost kind of sweet. I think they had cauliflower and, um, and almond flour. Speaking of cauliflower or flour, have you guys tried there at Costco? I always see this cauliflower flour blend. It's like cauliflower that's been pulverized into a flour plus I think some other flours. Comment below on it if that stuff is actually worth purchasing to bake with. Um, I would assume that it would be good for making like cauliflower pizza crust, but um, I think it's got like brown rice flour in, mixed in and maybe some leavening or something sure because uh, I have tried making my own cauliflower crust from cauliflower for pizza and it comes out fine but it is so laborious you know some things are just worth outsourcing out outsourcing outsourcing some things are just worth outsourcing and that is one the cauliflower crust pizza cauliflower pizza crust although it's hard to find them that find those like pre-made that are vegan a lot most of them have eggs and or cheese um, there is one brand that makes a vegan one though um, that I need to find because I think I would like like that but before I was vegan I tried making my own and it was it came out okay but it was like a little underwhelming for the amount of labor that went into it but I'm thinking as I'm blabbing on and on to you guys with no rhyme or reason that it, that flour blend would work well for making cauliflower crust. But these tortillas that I got at Aldi last time that I'm hoping they still have in stock, they would make really good little individual pizza crusts. I don't know how they would heat up in the like oven if they would get too crunchy. But and they could be like a... What is it? What is the, the thing they have at Taco Bell where it's like round hard shell stacked what is that I don't know not a nacho I know you're thinking nachos it's like a nacho but it's a big round nacho instead of the, like triangle cuts and it's got like the typical Taco Bell amalgam layered different layers I don't know what it's called maybe I'll put it here on the screen ba -da -ba, ba -da -ba. Oh, yesterday when I was in the car, I was commenting on UPF clothing, on like wearing sun protective clothing. Um, you want to look for fabrics that are really tight weave. You don't have to have dedicated UPF 50 clothing for foremost. I prefer it because it tends to be a lot more lightweight than. Stay in the middle two lanes. Than like other fabrics that are not, that are. Other fabrics, it tends to be very lightweight and like, I don't know. Here, it gets so hot, I find that the UPF 50 clothing is a, is a great option. Um, but you can use very tight weave cottons, uh, spandex, and the best fabrics are those that, again, have a tight weave, you can't really see anything through them, you can't see light through, and um, that are black. Black is the best color, but like that's miserable in the summer. This is another reason why I get the UPF 50 fabrics. They're more lightweight, um, and they they are tend to be bright colors, which help with keeping you cool. And also, as a side note, God, I'm not giving you guys this information in a very clear way. Um, but one other thing about um, wearing black in the summer, especially here, is uh, it attracts mosquitoes. That is why I believe in the South, it's so popular to wear these like vibrant colors in the Southern US, to be clear. Um, you know, like Lily Pulitzer. I believe that they picked up on the fact back in the day that that terrified away the mosquitoes. So that just kind of became the, the look. Uh, whereas in like the Northeast, you guys like to rock black. I do too, it's very flattering. Um, but it attracts those mosquitoes because they think it's like a cool dark place and so they are attracted to black fabric. So I prefer to not 
wear black for that reason. I don't want to attract skeeters. Um, so again, that's yet another reason why I like the UPF 50 fabric. But this very circuitous conversation, I'm trying to convey to you guys that black fabrics do a really good job, uh, provided they are a tight weave. They do a really good job of blocking out UV. Any fabric, though, is less protective when it's wet. Um, UPF 50 fabrics, honestly, I don't know if they still offer some protection when they're wet because they're like bathing suits and stuff that are made out of UPF fabric that are meant to be to get wet. And I honestly do not know if they retain their UPF status when they're wet. There's never a disclaimer. There's no way to know other than to test it yourself with some kind of a, a device. But I think they do. I would almost assume that they do because they they are meant to protect covered areas from the sun and they're meant to get wet. But regardless, other fabrics, if they get wet, they lose their, their ability to protect you. So you want to take them off and switch out to dry clothing. Um, so yeah, that's really important. Or fabrics that, you know, you get really sweaty or the fabric initially may have been a very tight weave, but as it gets worn out, as it gets worn out, then you start to lose that protection. Um, but I advocate strongly, I mean, you should try and wear, Continue onto Old Spanish Trail. you should try and wear, get in the, the, the clothing that protects your as much as possible your skin. That way you don't have, if you, you, don't, you don't have to wear sunscreen under fabrics that have a tight weave and that block out UV. You don't, you don't need to. So it reduces this, the Half issues. Mile, turn right into the parking lot. It reduces the issues around wearing sunscreen. You know how it rubs off and loses its protective ability and all these factors. So having long sleeves, long pants, high, you know, high neck things, then it, it just minimizes the exposed surface area that you need to apply sunscreen to. So it's, it's just better. Oh, we are here, you guys, we are here. You've entered the parking lot for your destination. That, that I have, that Hi. I have, that I have. Where should I park? This stuff is so good. Uh, well, I've never had the Southern Grove brand, but I do like those little seaweed crackers. Mm -hmm. They have sweet and salty pack. These are convenient. Southern Grove, a good brand. Oh, I need to, I should get some pumpkin seeds. Oh, I love these. These dried apples. I think I'm gonna get some of these. Last time I was here, I got these crackers and they were actually pretty good, but I don't see them this time. Or were they over here? Yeah, they were like the cauliflower, of course, cauliflower. They were like the cauliflower crackers, but they were the Aldi brand. They were pretty good. Um, Texas two stem. Oh, these are the cauliflower wraps, but they just have this one like randomly stuck in there. I wonder if that's the only one that they have. I'm getting it. I got these last time and they were okay. Or was it these? These protein wraps, yeah. These are the ones I got last time. They were okay. Um, they were not horrible. Ooh, this coconut scented hand wash I think is new. This was not here last time. Looks like they have the same sunscreen suspects. I don't know that they have this Vaseline Soothing Hydration or the Cocoa Radiant. These have fragrance, but the other Vaseline um, Intensive Care, the fragrance-free one, I'll link it down below, is awesome. I'll find the one that is fragrance-free. It's really good, like, like jaw-droppingly jaw good. Uh, we talked about La Cura last time I was in here. It's a sensitive skin body wash. 
has methyl isothiazole in it. I think that was the issue I had with all of these, that they have an MI in them, which is a preservative people commonly become allergic to. Ew, this is new. It's a dupe for the Dove Beauty Bar. Cool. This is a good option for cleansing if you want to do a bar. The fragrance-free Dove Beauty Bar. With the touted one quart of moisturizing lotion. Hey guys, finished up at Aldi and I'm actually here in line. I just paid for a car wash. And I always enjoy doing this. I notice it's, I don't know if it's pollen season, I assume it is. But my car is getting kind of, you. Uh, that happens, so I like to come over here and get it, get it rinsed off and hosed off. They do a good job here. It's like a combination drive-through plus person, I don't know, person hands-on. They do things, but you don't have to like interact with them so it's socially distant. I mean, they're all wearing masks too, but uh, yeah, it's kind of a nice mix between just the straight drive through and and the in person. Oh, the Amazonian is delivering over there. All right, here we go. Does anybody else get freaked out by having the car in neutral? <laughs> like uh, you you have to resist the urge to like take control. Uh, this is relaxing. They should make like sleep, sleep tunnels that are like this. from Aldi and I'll show you guys what I got. I did in fact get some of these freeze-dried apples, the Fuji, and they also had freeze-dried mangoes. So I wanna give those a try. I love freeze-dried fruit. Lately I have been craving carbonated beverages. This is a phase that I go through every couple of years and then I like am all about it and then it just passes and I go back to not caring for sparkling waters. But Aldi had these. I decided to try strawberry, black cherry, key lime, and juicy peach sounded good. And last time I was there I got these sparkling frost. The pineapple coconut flavor was Two thumbs up, delicious. So I got a few more of those. I also got um, a thing of broccoli crowns. That was a pretty good deal, actually. These are the crackers I was talking about while I was in there. I did find them, they were on an end cap, the cauliflower crackers. Last time I got the sea salt and then they had this cheddar flavor that's vegan, so I decided to give that a try too. I think they're like, um, there's a name brand version of these cauliflower crackers that I've seen from time to time, but I was pretty happy with these last time, so I got them. Snag the last um, keto-friendly original wrap. These are really good as I was gushing on the way over there. It's uh, not almond flour though, it's coconut flour and, uh, and, and cauliflower and then some thickeners or whatever. I also got these Olay Extreme Wellness Wraps. These are really good if you've ever had them. They've got like flaxseed in them. They're really good actually. So I got those and then this looked good. Arriba Roasted Red Salsa. They had a hot but I figured I would start with a medium just to kind of gauge where we're at here and then if I liked this then I would upgrade to the spicy. <laughs>
I just finished up my run and I was just doing a little bit of stretching. But speaking of run, while I was on my treadmill, I got my Amazon package. I ordered some new running shoes. Uh, I have been loving the Brooks Ghost. Uh, does, side note, does this bother anybody? It kind of bothers me. I put them here. Uh, I mean, they're like brand new out of the box. They've not been like touch ground or whatever, but it's just the idea of like shoes on the furniture. I don't know, it bothers me. Anyways, let's take it off. Uh, yeah, I like this color, but comment below. There is another type of Brooks running shoe. Is it the Ascent or the Aspire? Maybe it's Aspire, Aspire or Ascent. Um, comment below on if you run in those, what they're like. I contemplate getting the other ones just to try them out, but I went with the ghost again. And I also er ordered, <laughs> ordered another one of these t-shirts. You know that pink t-shirt I was wearing in last weekend's vlog? I got it on Amazon. It's by this brand, Comfort Colors. Um, I was gifted a sweatshirt by this brand and I really liked it. So I went on Amazon looking for stuff and they have these t-shirts and I have that pink one that I wore was it last weekend. So I decided to get this kind of green color. Um, really nice material and they hold up really well in the wash. Uh, so yeah, I thought I would show you guys that. Oh, let me show you. I made a little bit of progress in the kitchen on my organizing. <laughs> I put those ca cabinet trays in. Yeah, I have this one here that I need to do something with, but I went ahead and put in the other two. I put one in here to hold these little Pyrex things. And I have another bowl, another one of these bowls, but it's in the fridge and it goes there. And um, I've got some of my mugs up here. And then I'm probably going to put the other one up top maybe for that china set uh and then over here i did a little bit with the other two um so i'm happy with the way it came it's coming together i've got my i know it doesn't seem to make sense but i put things kind of in locations based on frequency of use not like them going together necessarily like i rarely ever use this stuff but i do use it so i put it up there these i've been using they're easy to grab there um this never use but it's cute it's like a little breakfast in bed set china set it's got these cute little salt and pepper shakers and there's like a teacup back a tea teapot back there and a little thing for I don't know pastry or something yeah so I don't I don't really ever eat off of that it's just for decoration or you know I don't know it's just one thing to, it's something to possess I've had it forever anyways <laughs> and this plate I eat off of a fair amount so I have it there whereas the other smaller ones are up there they're not all together but like I rarely ever use those occasionally do but I use this way more um, and I use these bowls a fair amount too so yeah I'm pretty happy with these from Costco, you got four in that box, which is a good number. Um, closes just fine. Yeah, is there such a thing as a bad Costco impulse? No, never. Anyways, guys, I am gonna hop in the shower and relax for the rest of the evening, so I'm gonna wrap up the vlog here. I hope you all had a good time. Thank you for coming along with me. I hope you had a nice weekend, another one in the books. Um, if you like this video, give it a thumbs up, share it with your friends, and as always, don't forget, sunscreen and subscribe. I'll talk to you guys tomorrow. Bye.